So I get people that contact me about people that there are maybe in these online relationships with that they're, you know, potentially being scammed and they're a little curious of it. But for some reason lately, I've gotten a few messages of people that are convinced that the person they are talking to is real. And uh, I want to share one of those stories with you. What's up, my friends? Welcome to a video. This one, kind of a fun little kind of story exchange that I'm going to talk about that I had on Instagram with an individual. Now, for the privacy purposes and, you know, not to embarrass the individual, I'm not going to show the picture of the individual, you know, that is the victim. I'm not going to show the name or the Instagram handle of that individual. So uh, I'll keep that part private. I'm just going to be kind of showing the conversation this person had with me, trying to convince me that the person they're talking to is the real person that they claim to be, I guess. So let's start off with the initial message that I received from this individual. And that says, yes, Christopher, I got scammed from the real General John F. Campbell. So first thing I do is I look up the name of that individual. And yes, that's a real general that was in the army. They're actually retired now currently, but it's a real person that's out there and they are a four-star general or were a four-star general before actually retiring. So we'll get into a little bit more of the history of this individual, maybe a little bit later, but that's kind of how the conversation just kind of started. And I'm kind of like, all right, why do you feel like this is the real person that you're talking to? And that's basically what I was kind of asking the person next was, and how do you know it's the real General Campbell and not someone that just used his photos to trick you into thinking that it was him? Because that's obviously something that happens quite often and I deal with all the time. People showing me these photos that they have been receiving from this individual claiming to be in the military and this is who they say they are and all that kind of stuff. So what makes this any different than any of the other scammers that uh, cases that I've heard from other individuals. So from there it goes, no, Chris, it's him. Okay. Apparently this person really believes it. Uh, I've been talking to him over a year, his real name, John Christopher Francis Campbell. Now I swear it's him. I, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have two middle names from anything I've seen on there. It's yes, John Francis Campbell, but the Christopher part is just something that's been added in there for whatever reason. So then following that, the next thing I get is this photo here of what is supposed to be his ID card. Now, I don't know why on earth, especially if you're a general or retired general or really anybody, you would send someone a photo of your government ID. That's kind of weird, but it does happen quite often. And usually there's something wrong with that ID. And this one is definitely no different. Now, typically when I look at these IDs, these fake IDs, usually there's something that really stands out. Usually like it says like special forces on the ID card, the photos, them in civilian clothes, which isn't impossible, but usually unlikely. And the photos like at a weird angle to where it's like not even centered correctly onto the ID card and a lot of other information on there that's usually wrong. This one looks almost close, but there are a few things that are off on it. And the biggest thing that I noticed was this, the rank. This says here, that it's a pay grade or grade, it just says on here, I think the real one says pay grade, right? Yeah, I look at my, my old ID card, yes. <laughs> the real one says pay grade, not just grade. And then it has, this says post, it looks like. It says right there, which would supposed to say rank, uh, but an 06 is not a general. This individual, the real individual was, yes, a general, a four-star general, which is just simply called a general, but an 06 is a colonel. That's, that's a colonel. That's not a general. If it was going to be correct, it would say 010. That is a four-star general. So there are other things about this ID card that I noticed that were off and wrong as well. Like the photo, for example, that's not typically how the photo is taken, but hey, maybe this general had special hookups. So he had his own photographer do the photo for his ID possibly, but that photo is also the exact photo you would find on his Wikipedia page and his official bio. So I'm going to be a little hesitant on that. Another thing on there, this says army active duty. I'm pretty sure the real ones only say army as that's what mine has. And the other ones I've seen say that. I don't know if there's variations out there that say active duty or reserves or national guard, but usually it just simply says army or Marine Corps or Navy or whatever, not specifically if they are active duty or not. There are a few other little small minor details as well that kind of gave it away, but that was the biggest one was this 06 pay grade does not match up to what the rank actually is or what it should be. So the conversation goes on for there and I point out that the ID is, is a fake. So I you know, write back saying, considering the ID is a fake, I'm going to doubt it. The pay grade of an 06 is not a general, the ID is wrong. So I'm trying to let her know that the ID that 
is in that photo is, is a fake ID that's not the real ID. So kind of just responds back, okay, gotcha, wow. So I thought maybe the person was like, okay, we may realizing that they were wrong and this is a fake, but no, uh, it goes on from there. Chris, I have personal information about him. The they only he would know, yes, it's him. Because yes, it's super hard to just simply go to the Wikipedia page or the official bio and get personal info to be able to spill out to this person. But okay, okay, we're gonna assume that you know you, you know personal information that nobody else knows but him, which I don't even understand how you would even be able to know that's true or, or not. Anyways, but I put back that, uh, but he uses a fake ID. Okay, so of course I'm very skeptical of this person. Even with giving the person all the facts here, especially the ID, this person still doesn't want to believe me that I'm trying to tell them that no, this is not the real General uh, Campbell or retired General Campbell. So I don't know what else I'm supposed to do. I don't know how else I'm supposed to convince you otherwise when you believe that this is the real person and that this person for whatever reason has nothing better to do but to scam you. So the conversation kind of goes on a little bit more. I'm trying to tell them that, you know, you can easily find out some personal information a lot of times on Wikipedia, on other places or whatever, and how easy it is to kind of do so. I even kind of mentioned that this person's profile seems a little bit suspicious as well, as I'm not even sure if this person's even a scammer. I mean, this person might be a scammer trying to somehow get information out of me for whatever reason. But, you know, I kind of express that as well. So then from there, it looks like maybe this person has a conversation with the person they believe is this real general about how they're talking to me, you're talking to someone, and that I don't believe that they are really who they say they are. And here's looks looks like a maybe like a WhatsApp conversation or something that they're having. So I'm guessing before the okay, it's all right kind of portion, maybe he was saying that, hey, uh, I'm talking to someone or something along those lines and they, they don't believe you're real or whatever. So then he, that individual is asking, what did they ask about me? And you know that person's just saying that said that the ID was fake, the wrong pay grade, and you know, he said that. And then the person just says, okay. It looks like there's probably more to the conversation. I didn't see the rest as far as what happens after that, but they're letting that person know that, hey, uh, your pay grade is wrong on your ID card that you've got that you're trying to scam people with. But at this point, she still doesn't believe that uh, that I'm telling the truth and believes that this is, in fact, the real retired General Campbell. So the next thing is that she's telling me that she has FaceTimed on Hangout. So they've done a Hangout video chat with each other and she swears. And then for like five seconds, I guess is how long the video chat lasted for. And he said it was dangerous for him to even do that, which not true. I mean, they actually encourage you to usually, you know, communicate with your family, your loved ones, your friends, whatever, via email, chat, FaceTime, via video chat, if possible, if you have a strong enough internet connection. Obviously, you're not going to be video chatting in a secure location. Uh, but if you're back at your room, somewhere's where you're staying, and you're video, video chatting with loved ones, that's perfectly fine to do. The only time that maybe it's not fine is if you have a comms blackout because maybe a soldier was killed in action and they usually black out comms and you're not supposed to use any kind of the internet so that the information doesn't get leaked out that this individual was killed before the family is contacted. So they black out comms during that time frame and they usually turn off the internet or tell you you're not allowed to use it or whatever. Uh, a lot of different kind of things go in there and that's usually the only time you're not allowed to kind of use the internet is during comms blackout for those kind of situations. But otherwise, outside of that, they actually encourage it to stay in contact with your friends, your family, your loved ones, all that stuff like that. So I, you know, put in there that no, it's it's not dangerous. You know, it's there's no danger in video chatting with someone. So I'm assuming that when she did video chat with this person, it was probably really dark, probably hard to make out the face, probably it was only for five seconds. So it was a real quick, hey, what's up? And then hung up or something like that. See, I'm real. It's, it's gotta be legit. I, I don't know what the heck was going on there, but no, that's just not how it works. So my next thing I wanted to do is I wanted to look a little bit more into this General Campbell, find out a little bit more about the individual and check out what happens when you search for his name. So I'm here in Google, I'm actually in incognito mode, that way my previous search history doesn't affect how the results come out. So we are going to put in his name, where I just already copied it, pasted in there. We got a couple things that pop up kind of in the recommendations. You obviously have pictures, people wanna know what he looks like, probably looking for their Instagram, maybe to find the real Instagram because they're probably seeing all these fake ones and scam ones. Probably doesn't even have a real Instagram. I don't know, I didn't look into that part. Maybe want to know about family, biography to know about that more about that person. Want to know if he has a wife probably, all sorts of things in here. But let's just look at just his name alone and what that brings up. So that brings up the results, but the good one that I really loved was, let's see, one, two, three, four results down, you have this right here, U.S. General Warning on Romance Scams. Let's check that out. 
you actually have a Facebook article from back in 2015 of the US general warning on romance scams, I'm happily married, and here he is with his wife. And it's actually showing a bunch of stuff about how he has a bunch of fake profiles out there from these scammers and all this stuff like that, and they're all scams. And in here, he is saying that I'm happily married and my wife Anne is very much alive and my children do not need money for any medical procedures. Probably a, a common thing they're using for the scam. I don't know what's involved in this individual scam, but you know, saying that I do not use any dating sites, Skype, Google+, uh, Yahoo, Messenger, or any other account. So it appears that he's very much aware that people are using his face, his name in these scams and articles are on the internet warning people that, hey, this is not a real thing. So I even sent her some quick little photos of my monitor to show that there's these articles out there of, you know, of him, you know, saying that there's these scams going on, don't believe them. Even a picture of him with the caption saying General John F. Campbell and his wife, Anne. So, you know, I tried to try to show her, look, he's married. He knows that there's scams going on. And most likely you're not talking to the real one. So after presenting her with that evidence and that little proof right there, what does she say? She comes back with, he's not married. <sighs> At this point, I'm like, what, what's even the point? It's not gonna get through to this person. They're not gonna believe me for whatever reason. What's even the point of carrying on? But I'm kind of now a little bit amused by this whole thing at this point. So I continue going. So I respond back to her, Oh, he is, <laughs> he's married. Uh, and then I wanted to know a little bit more information. You know, I want to find out if, uh, if maybe this person has been telling her that he's still in the army or that he's in Afghanistan or something along those lines, because this real individual is retired and is actually the chairman of a board of a major uh, government defense contractor. So they actually got something right. She says that he has told her that he's retired, but he is living in an apartment over there. And I asked where over there is, but she didn't actually answer uh, where over there is as far as is that Afghanistan? Is that the United States somewhere? Uh, that part was not clarified. So I wanted to try to dig out of her, you know, what it is this person says they do for a living. If they say that they're actually a chairman of the board of this defense contractor, if they say that they're uh, just living it up on retirement, whatever it is. And uh, she responds, nothing really, stays on the internet scamming. So apparently the real general uh, Campbell just lives off of retirement and just hangs out scamming people on the internet. And that's, that's his day job. Yeah, sure. Makes sense. So as of recording this video, the conversation only goes on a little bit past that. And she's saying that uh, apparently that, uh, that uh, I will say this, it may not be him on all those accounts, but he is also a scammer. So I believe that she thinks that yes, there is a bunch of scammer accounts out there of the individual, but she believes that the real General, General Campbell retired is a scammer for whatever reason. And that the person she is talking to is not a scammer and is the real general that is also a scammer at the same time. It's confusing. It, it seems like that she's really convinced that that's what this retired general does on his spare time now is just uh, tries to scam people into these romance scams and doesn't want to believe that this is not the real person and it's just probably someone in Nigeria, in India, or some other country most likely that is faking that they are the real General Campbell to get money out of you in these romance scams. So. I, I don't know what else to, to say to this person to convince them otherwise. So if you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up. Don't get scammed. All right. Check out links down in the description, all that fun stuff. I'm Christopher Chaos. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time. See ya.